hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> don't know why i did that but it's okay we're moving on so as you can see behind me this rivian r1t got rear-ended and that is the cost to repair a fender bender holy shit forty two thousand dollars forty two you know what I, it makes sense with all these new cars it's it's getting out of hand the repair cost everything is just getting out of fucking hand like for my car um, my wife was in a little accident on my, on the Ionic 5, which I will make a video on. I just haven't had time. Just been busy with everything else. And the repair cost for that one, because it was on the door side, it doesn't seem that bad. But it came out to about $3,800. And that's before I take it to the body shop. The insurance cut me a check for $2,200, which is not what, um, you know, my body shop that I go to is estimated at 38. I had already gotten the estimate, but I just took a photo of it and submitted to Allstate. But anyway, let's get into this one. I don't know why I uh, sidetracked. That's, that's going to be a separate video. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's going to be a long read here. <coughs> in early February, I was rear-ended in my R1T. No airbags went off and the collision was at relatively low speed. The other driver asked me what kind of car I was driving and my response was the kind that is going to piss off your insurance company. I figured the repair would be expensive but had no idea. Originally, her insurance estimated the damage to be around 1600 sent me a check. I live in central Ohio and one of three Rivian certified body shops in the state is about 40 minutes away from my house. The shop is called the KSEPS and they have 70,000 square feet warehouse dedicated to EVs. They were incredibly meticulous detail and completely disassembled the rear end of my truck to discover all of the damage. They carefully documented every step with photographers to show the insurance company the process it took over two and a half months to finally get my truck back. They did an incredible job and my R1T looks as nice as the day it was shipped. The final bill was over $42,000. I have heard the Rivian made some concessions in the repairability in order to keep the aesthetics a certain way. And all I know is that this is a very expensive vehicle to fix. Her policy maxes out at 50000 with the car rental. We are close. Next, I have to try to fight with the insurance for diminished value. It feels good to have my truck back and almost like waiting for delivery all over again. So, 50, I'm sorry, $42,000, $42,000. It, it doesn't even look that bad. It's a simple, look, this, that, that'll buff out for sure, man. That'll definitely buff out. But for this simple accident, $42,000. And they have to disassemble the whole trunk, the whole bed. This is, this is crazy. Why you got to do all this? Just for that? Huh? No way. No way. No way. There's something going on here. I don't know. $42,000. They out hustled that insurance company for $42,000. Ain't no fucking way. No fucking way. Just put on, even if you buy a brand new bumper and just slap it on there, it would have been perfect. That's, that's it. It just looks like it needs a new bumper. $42,000. Ooh, we, and it's funny because I actually wanted a Rivian, but with those repair costs, oof, I'm not. Mm -mm. Some commenters are suggesting that there's something fishy going on with this gargantuan repair bill. For example, why the real glass had to come out as a solid qu as a solid question. No matter how one slices it, this is a lot of disassembly for what initially looks like a very minimal damage to the bumper area. We reached out for both the owner here and Rivian itself for more information. It does sound like... 
it's very suspicious to be completely honest with you guys i've seen some crazy repair bill and this is one of the worst for a fender bender forty two thousand dollars for a fucking fender bender what is the cost if he gets in a front end collision eighty thousand dollars fuck out of here with all this this is how you protect your stuff here make sure you have your insurance obviously and then make sure you have an insured motorist just in case you never know just to protect yourself and then make sure you have like for me i think mine was like a hundred a hundred thousand property damage of other people and then my own was like fifty thousand or something like that I, i'll have to check on my policy um but i have a hundred thousand because cars are getting expensive to repair and you don't want to be caught with your pants down if you know what i mean but anyway let me know what you think about this gargantuan <laughs> repair bill as always make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one uh, guys